All right, we're going to do a little oak leaf tech session here. We've got three radiators, maybe four, to flow test. We're going to use a different method. We've got a sump pump coming, and we're going to have a closed system and see if we can get some accurate readings uh, easier than my old method. Here's what we have. We've got the radiator mounted in a shop mate and uh, we've got the water being pumped by a sump pump into the top tank and since our pump doesn't have quite the capacity we're putting a garden hose in there trying to get as much water as we can. Well, ideal we would want the uh, water bubbling out of the uh, top of the radiator. So we're going to run a test and uh, see how she goes. Oh, we, had, all right. we had a big tank up on a step ladder. Jim was up there. He pulled the... the um... All right, give me the bucket and get your stopwatch. Give me a bucket. <coughs> all right, a practice. One, one two, three. Okay. I'm going to say one, two, three. Do it and then one, two, all right, three. Here. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. We're going to measure how much water is there. All right. We got uh, about 4.4 4 seconds. 4.4 4 seconds, and we'll measure the um, amount of water. Okay. We ran uh, this radiator three times. The first time we got 37 point some gallons a minute, which is one heck of a lot of water. And we ran it uh, a second time and a third time, and we're measuring the water now. We have the, the timing on it. So we'll see. We're probably through with this radiator. It's a good floor. Now, we ran four tests on that radiator, and the, the last two were pretty accurate, we think. We were very careful with it, and we got 26 and 27 gallons per minute. So that's, that's pretty good flow. I wish it was 30. Uh, here's the radiator. Obviously, she is uh, plugged real good. And we'll uh, run a test now. Alright, ready? What if you just ran this for like six hours? Hold your hand there so it doesn't spike. Ready? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Alright, that's a good one. 7.66. 7.66 seconds. Yep. Uh, we ran it a second time. The first time it was 18.8, so uh, she's a plugged radiator, and when you get up to speed, it would uh, definitely overheat. With this setup, it's uh, pretty easy to pop a new um, radiator onto the shop mate, hook up the two hoses, and we're ready to run some tests. Turn on the pump. It's a big core. Let's see how she flows. Not flowing over, so that means it's flowing good. Well, that guy is a big floor, and he flowed at 29.8, and we couldn't get enough flow out of the pump to get the water all the way to the top tank, or up to the top of the top tank. So it's uh, it flows over 30 gallons a minute. So now we're going to try another one. We're going through radiators pretty quick here. We're going to have some good data. Oh, we got a... Oh, a leaker? Plugged. Plugged? My heavens, I guess it's plugged. Well, now let's know, run it. Now I know why it was let's running. Let's run it. Why it was running at 220. <laughs> All right, ready? We're going to stop on I got it. You, you just shut off the pump, right? Eh? All right, I'm ready. Here, hold on. So I can put the deflector on the top. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, shut up the pump. 8.39. 8.39. That guy didn't flow good. We'll calculate it. Actually, I'm still thinking.
Okay, we got 18.9 out of that, so she's a good uh, 10 gallons a minute, shy of a good radiator. Two and a half. So we'll see what, we're in it a second gallon, time, let's see what this is. All we ought to do is, if it doesn't bubble over, it's a good radiator. We well, had, we had 21.4 yeah, um, gallons per minute on that last radiator. The first run was 19, and the second was 21, so we were a little off. And we. Should have run it a third time maybe, but now this is a, was a new radiator. Uh, after a few years running, it uh, had a crack in the uh, inlet. I had that fixed, and now we're going to test it again here. All right, ready? Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Whoa, what is going on here? Diet thing, if you got it. Yeah, I think we do. I think we've got oh, diet Pepsi. Sprayed, yeah. yeah, that's good. If you don't, water's good. Spray your coke with your rust. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Here's this. That's mine. So 360, 366 ounces. <coughs> 6 6.4. 26.8. That's yeah. a lot better than we used to do. Oh. All right, let's run it again. Okay, what did you come out with? 26.8. Oh. Yeah, good, good I mean, it's bubbling over a little bit, so it might have a yeah. little bit of flow problem. Yeah. Now it's ready? Good. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now this time it didn't bubble over. 592. It didn't? No. I had an air pocket in there. But... Oh, well, that guy flowed really good uh, the second time, so I don't know if we busted something loose in there or what. Anyway, we measure how much water, and we have the seconds, and it's uh, pretty accurate as far as gallons per minute. Well, that guy ran 30, a little over 30 gallons a minute, so we ran it three times. It, it uh, flowed better and better. Interesting. We uh, got uh, 28.6 right. on that second yeah. run, exactly what we got on the first run. So we're happy with our method. Now we're going to try and run this car, this radiator, while it's on the car, and we'll see if we can figure that out. Okay, the guys are trying to figure out how to get the outlet from the radiator into a bucket so we can measure it. Oh, you got one there too? Pretty little roadster. You want to, I think we probably ought to throw a tarp over that engine. Oh, absolutely. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to overflow like this. We'll throw a tarp over it and then uh, hook up our pump system and see what we got. John, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Okay, what we've got here is uh, a tarp over so when the water splashes it won't mess the engine up. And they ran the outlet of the radiator out through the tire here and we should be able to measure quite nicely. Yeah. We got our pump set up. You ready? I don't know. We'll find yeah. out in a minute. Turn it on. Let's see wait, how it wait, flows. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Look. 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 Look.
10 gallons with a sump pump feeding into the top radiator hose. Oh, see the bottom And uh, the bottom setup, we sneak our way out through here to catch the water. So it's not a recirculating system, but it's uh, plenty enough water for us to do our job. And the tarp keeps it dry. So run, run another test. We know this guy's plugged. He got, we just ran it at 15 something per 15.4 gallons a minute. Okay, turn the pump on. She's bubbling out the top. One, that means we have two, a constant pressure. Three. Now he's catching the water. Marcy's timing it. One, two, three. Shut her off. 1266. This is how we measure the amount of water. We got a two gallon, or uh, one gallon bucket there, and it's marked on the side. And the guys are getting pretty good at that. That's three gallons. And then we measure uh, what the remaining is, add it up, total number of ounces, and put that in. We're reversing the plumbing, so we're going to try and back flush it. All right, here's what the guys have done. They got the pump out output going over here to the radiator outlet. And then we're going to catch the water coming out of the top tank into we we'll catch it into something that uh, we can see how dirty it is here let's bring it over there in case that starts up okay we're ready to back radiator caps closed okay. we're gonna spray water probably all right let it, let's go open in backwards here where's the water ah. We're leaking at some type of... How can I quail once? Let's see if it's still bubbling quite the same level. It is. I can try to Yeah. Here, do that again. Okay, okay. That's a good. That's good. Okay, now we got clean, the water running pretty clear. Now we're going to run the test again and see if we get any increase, improvement. Here's our backflush system. The guys are just letting yeah, it run. And uh, it's nicely sealed. Probably got a lot more hose than we need, but uh, it's got to improve it a little bit. We'll run it in a minute. Let's see. We can put the bigger hose on it. Here we go. All right. Okay. Get the timer. Timer ready? I'm ready. Turn her on. Wait till you get full. full. Okay. Right, we're bubbling. Close. Oh, you don't want to close that. Ready? Red. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, on that uh, second uh, run, we got 16.2. So back flushing ran it up from 15.8 to 16.2. And that's... Uh, that's the margin of error. Yeah, that's within the margin of error. So we're going to back flush one more just uh, for kicks to see what we get out of it. Because it's a low run. This is one of the bad so. actors we ran earlier, and we're going to back flush it. See what happens. Should be exciting. You ready? Yep. You know, I don't know if that's doing much good. Okay. No, oh, that's pretty good back push we're giving it. Yeah. All right, let's test it then. That radiator, uh, now it's back flushed. It did run before we back flushed it 19.8 and 19.5. So if you keep your car going less than 35, you probably got you could probably use it. The minute you go uh, higher speed, you're done. It'll boil over. All right, I'm ready. Okay, this is a test of uh, the uh, recently pumped, recently back flushed. Bad radiator. Oh, right, we back flushed it. Now we're yeah. testing it. Turn hand, it on. Put your bucket at a little bit of an angle so you're gonna, not going to catch that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, seven point. Oh, that's a little crazy. We got uh, seventeen point three gallons a minute, and. Earlier, before back flushing, it was 19, 19.5. 834 
on the clock. As far as we just ran it again. Of, uh, what we did today, um, there's a few things we did wrong. Uh, our pump obviously isn't, uh, doesn't have enough flow. We did have a rather small pipe leading from the pump to the radiator inlet, and I'm sure there were a lot of losses there. And then we were pumping from the ground up to the radiator inlet, so that added to our problem. And if you don't get the water bubbling out of the top, you don't have a constant head. So we were operating with something below the top. And uh, it kind of leads you to believe that on a good radiator, it simply took all the water we could pump. So we really never got to the limit of it. So those, some of those radiators at around 30 would uh, go up. We don't know how much that is. The other thing we uh, probably did wrong, when we did the one on the car, um, our outlet from the radiator into the bucket was somewhat restricted. And uh, we must have absolutely no restriction from the bottom of the radiator. So we'll have to put some uh, larger pipes in there or uh, devise some easier, a better way to collect all the water without restricting the flow. But the one that was on the car uh, is an overheater. It's a bad actor. And uh, so whatever the numbers, I think we got 15 or so. Uh, it is a bad one. Uh, what's a good radiator? Well, a good radiator is 30 gallons a minute or, or higher. Uh, a 20 gallon per minute radiator uh, is probably borderline. Um, might be even bad. I mean, if you want to cruise it at 45, uh, maybe a 20 gallon per minute radiator won't do it. So uh, what this amounts to is most radiators out there are plugged to some degree. Uh, you can uh, do the boiling and you can do the vinegar and all that. Uh, I don't know how that's going to plug, uh, unplug an absolute plugged tube that has no flow in it. Uh, the, the cleaning agent can't get into the tube if there's no flow, so that's, um, that's a problem. But we'll stay with us and, and keep uh, at it. Thanks for watching.